Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization VI. It's the Rise and Fall expansion, we're playing Deity Scotland. And apparently, Hojo's just been defeated. Um, I think it was Russia declared war on Japan, and apparently that was the end of Japan. What the heck? There's some brutal stuff going on over here. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the world looks like when we get there. Oh, it's Macedonia. Actually, it took a big... Well, I know... I think Russia did it as well. So Macedonia must have, like, taken the first bite out of Japan, and Russia just put them out of their misery. Which... Whew. All right. Pretty intense. I don't know what our victory situation is looking like right now. I mean, I'm assuming there's no science thing going on. Tourism hasn't really kicked in yet. Domination's not as much of a thing. Uh, Judaism's doing a fairly good number on stuff, but I don't usually see the AI actually being able to do a run at a religious victory just because there's usually a lot of competition. Religious victory is fairly tricky. We are currently working on armory, so we'll start working on gunpowder because we're going to need a boost there. And um, we're going to declare war on, on Persia. Technically a form of war. Still pretty heavy warmonger penalty. So prepare yourself for having everyone hate us forever. Uh, but because Germany's been weakening that... Oh, speaking of, are you still at war with Germany? You are. I think all the German units have died at this point, but it's still kind of interesting. Um, we should be able to obliterate... And we did, in fact, obliterate all the walls up here. Now, I'm hoping there's no German units around here to actually take the city at this point. Um... I'm going to move you in here. Oh, that river crossing. You're actually going to be able to take it this turn anyway. And I have a swordman up here. I should try to get you up to the front, too. Uh, you're going to dig this up. There you go. Babylon's fairly improved now. So, yeah, they can't shoot at us. I think that's their encampment as well. So we should gain that into our possession when we take the city and have one less thing bombarding. Hey, thank you for expanding your borders by one. It'd be really great if you spent money to do that. So you apparently respect people that start wars. Well, there you go. Normally I don't start wars. I mostly just end them, but... Strange women lying. Monarchy! So we're going to switch to that. Because it also gives us another boost. Now, what are we going to do with all these military policy slots? Well, veterancy, because we are building that armory, although it's going to be done in like two seconds. Um, we might do we might do retainers actually, and maybe keep this around. And feudal contract might not be bad because we do actually want to build a few more units so that we can get mercenaries a little cheaper. I'm going to keep naval infrastructure because it's giving us lots of money. I'm going to keep charismatic leader for now as well um hold on what we may need to do to keep this city actually is run praetorium and make sure we've got uh limitani over here so i'll get rid of feudal contract for now well am i really going to do retainer stuff after this war yeah but for now i'm not sure Tell you what, we're, we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, no, I'm going to go Feudal Contract. We're going to build stuff first. We will be switching to um, uh, to Retainers later on, though, because we really want our cities to be happy if at all possible. So we got a boost towards Castle because we've got a six-slot um, government. We're actually three turns away from a Golden Age. Still love um, Mercenaries here. We'll see what can come up soon. Uh, so you can't take the city... Oh, you can't hit the city this turn. I guess you can cross into a city across the river, even if it's not your own city? Hmm. This is Flatland? Good. You move the fire. Oh, you'll get shot at by the thing. Ah! I was just trying to surround the city. So that it couldn't heal. Well, at least it's only going to get shot by one thing. It should be okay. Uh, the Forbidden City is being developed over here, so we're going to... Yeah, we'll send you to Sterling for the plus two production and plus two food. Size 13 city here. That's going to be quite the grab. I don't know what the loyalty situation is going to be. Speaking of a grab, how about a builder over here? 
It looks like salt to me, but I guess that's niter. Sure. Oh, we didn't have enough time to hit our golden age. I didn't realize we were so close. Ah, that's a bit of a shame. Um, industrial era or later building. Uh, this is every time we kill a unit. Let's take that, because we might actually end up doing some unit killing. And wouldn't that be fun? Uh, Hong Kong is going and pillaging some stuff. That's just rude at this point. Uh, hopefully the frigate can actually kill Dundee. I think we'll get some more ancient walls in our borders right now, just because it's a little bit paranoid. Um, I would love to go and pillage that, but... Well, hold on. Let's see. I start with you. Yeah. I can't take the city out this turn. So I'm wondering if I go here and plunder it. It's going to get bombarded by Gordian. But that should be alright. And you just chill there. And I think next turn it falls. It is going to heal hit points because we don't have the city surrounded. But I think we still get it next turn. Be a lot faster with the bombard, but... Hey, a promotion available. That's level 3 promotion. Do, 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 do. Now there's the heal. I'll run over here. And let's see. Uh, I suspect, especially with the river crossing, yeah, major defeat. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this turn. No, I'll give you a promotion. Uh, plus 10 combat when defending versus city attacks actually is pretty handy. Not in this particular situation, but it will be good going forward. All right, next turn, I think it falls. And if this were bombarded, it would have dropped by now. Stock exchange, well, that's very good for them. Come on. I'm done please waiting. I just want to please conquer. Okay. Are we having... Loyalty problems over here. For real and true? Happiness. Is it unhappy because of war exhaustion? Minus two, yeah. Well, that's not actually gonna, gonna help because we don't have a loyalty boost or the retainer boost. Oh, we are going to have the loyalty boost over here. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll get plus two loyalty from having someone in there. Shoot. 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 And I will shoot here. There you go. Just get rid of the last little sliver. Boom. Progress towards guilds. We will absolutely keep the city. We will absolutely have to move a governor there. And it'll be someone else. Um, I'll move Liang. That's okay. This is going to go from minus 3 to plus 4. I do like the fact that it tells you that information right there. So this city will be, um, will build up in loyalty, especially if I keep someone there as a garrison. And we will, in fact, well, we'll start by repairing the monument as well, because that will also give us more loyalty. And the culture is nice too. So the big question will be, can we continue to push? Because these cities will actually have walls. The big thing with this one is it didn't have a wall. And we might just hold off over here. It'd be nice to get some city, some unit kills because we could actually get um, some um, some air score out of that. Not to mention more experience points on our units. So we're about to finish the armory, so that'll be a boost of gunpowder. Okay, Hong Kong here is being a real pain in the butt. That's a lot of boosts. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a bunch of extra units here. It has to be ground units, I believe, to progress on the uh, thingy. The thingy being um, the professional army tech. Uh, we could build... You know what? We will build one knight here. Because we only need one horse for it. And it'd be nice to have one fast-moving unit. You're going to probably just chill here. You're going to go and capture that builder. Who was very nice to give up his life. Well, give up his freedom anyway. Um, Jeebus, Hong Kong. Okay, we actually do have to take that a lot more seriously than I was giving it credit for. There's our mercenaries. 
Uh, we do have... No, we don't have anything to upgrade right now. I'll get the next tick in Geneva here so we get more science from our libraries. Doesn't update right away. We'll have to see what it does for us exactly next turn. I'll go up on this little hill for now. So you're going to rest. You are going to go and unpill... Uh, repair some things. Unpillage things is what I was going to say. Which, yeah, sure. You can move to here and promote. And you will move up to here. And what the heck, here. Are you working on another wonder? Middle of the war. The Potato Palace. All right, then. Now, we didn't actually capture any wonders over here, right? No. A Gordian does, because is that the mausoleum? That is the mausoleum. And you've got a lot of good districts built here, too. Hong Kong might just take Edinburgh this turn. Which is... a little embarrassing. I they could have just built a melee unit in here or something like that to increase its garrison strength. All right, we're okay so far. Man is a military animal. And nicely, Hattusa is getting involved in this, so thank you very much, Hattusa. You, you're a bro. Um, we'll go for the... Um... You know what? We'll go for metal casting. We're going to hold off on repairing the synagogue. Instead, what we're going to do is... I will get walls here just in case there's any issues with Germany. I'll feel a lot better and a lot safer. And I think we're going to approach Gordian. Is this a hill? It is a hill. Alright, that's fine. So you can't fire this turn because you're a siege unit. So I'm just going to double move you to there. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Now, it is entirely possible that our units will get just simply, like, massacred here by the 48 Bombard. But, well, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, Germany really want, went on a um, on a spree of wrecking stuff. And yeah, I will want to keep a unit in here. But that's okay. I don't need two melee units up front. Well, unless one dies. This, I, I'm going to want to keep one for the loyalty. But we might be okay with the governor, actually. So, that's the builder we just captured. So, I think what I'm going to do is do some chops in Babylon to accelerate them. Meanwhile... And distract these troops a little bit more. Man, Hattusa's really doing a great job. They even got a musket there for us. Thank you very much, Hattusa. I'm so happy we've got you on our side. If Hattusa had still been Persian, this would have... Like, I wouldn't have done this. Okay, you can't one-shot my catapult, which is nice. In fact, you probably won't kill it on the next one, and then... Alright, Edinburgh still stands. Good. This is a hill. I do want to shoot, but... What's this terrain here? That one's with a hill as well, right? So it's going to end my move. I think it's probably worth doing that, and that, and that. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to go and... That's 75 health? Yeah, you probably can't kill me. You know what? We'll shoot the city with the, uh, the catapult. Hopefully it won't die and we'll just take it next turn. So you're just going to keep chilling out over here and provide some garrison. And you're going to come over and do swordman things. And you're going to come here and repair. And yeah, you're going to clear that. Give Babylon some population. Looks like you should be okay to take another shot here. Hopefully you'll keep shooting me instead of Edinburgh. And then I think it'll be okay. Promotion available as well, so we don't have to pillage right away, which is even better. I think we can kick Gordian okay. I'm still... Oh, we can't heal anymore. Uh... Huh. We've got no shot. I think we're going to have to retake the city. I'm hoping that the city-state doesn't just burn it down or anything weird like that. So we're going to take the promotion here. Uh, do I want to run away with this guy, actually? Make some space? No, not yet. We'll just promote. 
Um, yeah, we'll take the bonus while defending. Work our way up to I hit harder promotion. We actually got a few more promotions here. We might have been able to promote before all this, and I hadn't noticed, and that would be a little bit meh, but... It doesn't really matter where I move with this guy. At some point, we'll probably just move the catapult out there, especially since it looks like they're pretty dedicated at the idea of destroying the catapult. This is the market, so we can't just repair that, but we can go and hook up some salt. I'm surprised he didn't build the Petra over here. That'd be a swell spot for it. That'd be a really good Petra spot. All right. So we'll take a shot with all the crossbows. Yeah, you just destroyed it. Uh, wow. Wow. You can, I don't think you can kill me in one shot. Especially with our defense boost. So I will take the attack here. And you have no walls. That's that's ultimately what I was hoping for. If we get really lucky, it'll have no walls. And then it's a moot question. Uh, we got a boost towards rifling. Right, because we actually built a niter mine. I can't believe you destroyed my goddamn city. You jerks. Just goes to show I should definitely have more walls. <laughs> I, I mean, Roxburgh is super vul uh, vulnerable as well. Hell, my capital is super vulnerable. Every, every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. So that in these days of change... Mm. Boom. Kill you. Um... Oof. You know what? We can probably get an alliance. I don't know if we can do it now while we're in a war. But, uh, cultural alliance. We could use more culture. Sure. Actually, hold on. We're still in mutual war. Would you do a military alliance? Uh, no, I don't know why they don't like that. Alright, cultural alliance is going to be fine. Right. Cool. Thanks, Freddy. That's a boost. And we got another governor title. Um... We'll probably Conacer Pingala so that he can... Or research, rather. So we can build um, our universities a little faster. So, we'll definitely take one more shot with the catapult. Uh, is there any way I can prevent the city from healing? I'd have to move all over here because of the zone of control issue. You know what? We'll start it anyway. If I move these two, it may have just been better to just take the shot with the catapult. I'm not sure. I don't think we'll push to Susa just because the landscape here is going to make it very hard to attack. Uh, if I go and shoot... No, I don't think that'll be low enough. So, But if I move here... Will that not count as blocking it all off? Because this is all zone of control. Oh, the sea tiles are, are free. Okay, so all this was stupid. And you're just going to get shot over there. Awesome. Well, try not to die. Speaking of trying not to die... Am I going to be able to shoot from the city? I don't think so. Can you kill me where you are? Maybe. Alright, get in the city. I don't think I have any money to buy another unit. This worked out really poorly. Germany beginning military assault in Auckland. God damn it, stop attacking all the city states! Auckland's at least got walls, but it's still only got a 22 garrison. And. whack. Awesome. And yes, we will keep the city. We're not some sort of monster who'd go and like burn down a city. That's just rude. Okay, go ahead and rest there. And yeah, it's like gonna be fourteen hundred or something for a settler, so we'll build it. We're gonna it's gonna build slowly, unless we build a government district finally. I think like especially once we get some caravels out so we can explore a bit, we're gonna want the government district with the pro settler thing. Probably. 
The settler and the free builder thing is very nice. But we'll want to rebuild this before that happens. So yeah, you're coming up here. Don't judge someone. But we can shoot you back. And I don't think you're making any real progress over here. Especially since we're going to look to peace out soon. We'll grab castles. We might need the second wall tech in some places. Uh, would you be willing to pass out or to peace out now? I don't think it's been long enough. Two more turns. Okay. Fort found will heal. So if we're going to do retinues, we are going to want to go and stand some people in a few areas. Make sure we've got a garrison. Denouncing the Khmer. And we'll have to send some uh, trade routes over to Germany now. And you're pillaging my stuff, including my science stuff, which I don't appreciate. It's very rude. Did we not kill that guy? Oh well, I guess we'll get more experience. Always look on the bright side, right? Uh, building a harbor here would be kind of inconvenient. There's not a good place for a commercial hub. You know what? This might be the, the entertainment center spot. I will go and purchase, say, this flat tile over here. And, yeah, we're going to get started on an entertainment complex. So we're going to want a few of those. You can go and repair your synagogue now. That's going to be fine. Um, yeah, I guess you can just rest, actually. We'll get back to you. I think Roxburg is going to be fine. Just because the landscape and everything. They can't just rush it. Best, you know, they'll probably do is attack one at a time. Sugar and chocolate for tea and one gold per turn. You know what? I'll, I'll do it. I know it's like a bad deal. People don't like me. And in any case, it gives us more amenities, which we do need. Can I shoot you from here? No, but I can shoot you from here. Which I will do. So no, that was just one turn since I checked. Nope, two. So, seed, seed. Hmm. I mean, I already have sugar. I suppose I already have silk. Would you give me, like, another city? I don't know if I know if I'd be able to keep them. Um, so give me, like, all your gold. And all your gold per turn. 55 is good. 75? Huh. 65. 60. Alright, 55 it is. Okay, so I get the two cities. I get 750 gold and 55 gold per freaking turn. Alright, I mean, I don't know if that makes up for losing Edinburgh. Well, maybe. Honestly. Like, we gained some cities here, and these cities are quite a bit more developed. So, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. We do have promotions available. We will be switching over to, um... We've got mercenaries finished, so we'll switch to professional army when diplomatic service finishes. And then we'll upgrade a handful of dudes. Go in there. You're going to go stand where Edinburgh is supposed to be. You're going to go back in here. Um, yeah, you're going to be going there. You see, we're going to get... And we're going to get the retinue service for the plus one amenities. It means our troops aren't going to be positioned, say, in a front line kind of place, which isn't ideal. Especially with the fact that we can't just spam roads wherever we want in Civ 6, so we can't really guarantee that we can get to the front super duper fast. Rocks in my path. But I think it'll be all right. Okay. Um, again, I probably won't be building any forts. I always seem dumb, so we'll probably end up hard racing from ballistics. Potato Palace is already being built somewhere right over here, so I don't think I'll bother with it. Um, the Zimbabwe could be good, but we don't have any commercial hubs yet. I would like frigates, of course, but we can wait a little bit on that. I think we're just going to hard research ballistics, get our field cannons going. All right, so you're going to go there. And you're really someone who does need to be near the front. Anyway, you've got like one level of XP. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. 
you're going to chill in this city. You're going to chill over there. Trade route. We still want potato palacey kind of things. We can get plus three production from Bok Tree here. On the other hand, you get all that gold and science and culture. Um, right, and this is the person we have the alliance with. So, yeah, let's send some stuff over to Germany. Get that culture bonus. Since we have none. Some religion things going on. Uh, let me just double check. We are at peace with Hong Kong, right? Like, yeah, everything's fine. Yep, alright, good. Amenity problems, but we're working on it. I'll go for the defensive build at this point with my crossbows and things. Does tend to do really good things for us. There's the walls coming up in Dundee finally. 4-4 four, four trade route. We were at 4-5 because we had, like, everything got destroyed over there. That's so frustrating. I do want to resettle this right away, though, in case another AI just decides to do it instead, which would annoy me immensely. The walls are up. We'll work to repair the harbor. That'll help us get our trade route, too, actually. Um, so you're just going to chill here and get ready to be a retainer. Germany's doing a lot of work here with cavalry. I mean, we're friends and allies, but that might not last forever. Who else is he going to declare war against? Auckland? Well, he might go over here. We may be able to convince him, but look how many cities he's got. Germany's going to be not that friendly. Let's repair the granary so we can keep getting population over here. We might want to switch back into serfdom and do a big wave of builders soon. But maybe not yet. I think Sterling's going to end up building a settler for us. As soon as it's done that crossbow. I mean, it is a crossbow of plus one amenities, which I do like. Um, where is... Where's Liang? Bok tree. Okay. Right, doing, doing uh, loyalty stuff, which is pretty solid right now. So you could build the shipyard. You could go with the medieval wall. You could use some housing soon. You know what? Oh, and we are down that trader. Where you had actually put a little bit of work into it. That being said, I think we are going to go on a, on a... We are going to switch to serfdom here. Not everything's about to finish. Hmm. The question will be, how long does it take to get our next civic? If it's going to be relatively short, then we'll just wait until then to go to serfdom. In diplomacy, there are two kinds of problems. Yay! Error score. 14. I, I mean, we're obviously not going to get the reformed church bonus. Uh, we do need to get reformed church, though, because that's where our golf course comes from. Okay, we're going to do that, and yeah, we're going to switch to serfdom, so we have a lot of builders that can build some golf courses for us in 14 turns. That sounds great. So, I think... Can we get a list of loyalty? Everything's at 100 and growing. So the big question really is something like Gordian. What is your actual raw loyalty? Only 1.1. So if we go and swap out of our loyalty builder, then you will actually be going down. Okay, we can make do without conscription for a little while, for example. So I'm looking to get retainers for the amenities and professional army temporarily. It's going to be really good. Uh, we're going to switch out of that. So again, we're losing a little bit of money. We're going to get serfdom. Which may or may not come up a lot. We still have Praetorium here for the bonus to loyalty, which I think is going to be good. And I'm still going to run the Great Scientist one. Although, oh right, Weaselbanken. Trade routes to allies, plus two food and production. You know what? We've only got one right now, but a bunch are probably going to come up soon. That's really good. We could use some growth right now. I'm curious about the great people status. But, I mean, we don't have that much faith. 16,000 faith for Albert Einstein. But oh, we're not even getting the most... My god, Germany's going crazy! I'm very concerned about my, my neighbor friend. Friend in air quotes. Uh, so we've got professional army. So, musket. 
Bombard. Pike and Shot. So we don't have any upgrades for you. So as far as I know, we've upgraded all of our upgradables. We are going to purchase a trader over here. I know we got a couple of turns of production, but that'll really help Montrose grow, and a trade route to Germany, we know, is going to be really good for us. So we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Again, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen when we hit turn 99. That may be the end of this game um, as a result of we started on a version that was still sort of the semi-preview build, but I really wanted to see where we were going to go with this, and I'm happy that we did. We so we might not be able to end this game unfortunately but i think it's still worth playing out as much as we can thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time